Hello everyone, it is me, Coding Man. In this video, I would like to show you my app, which I have actually shown in a past video of mine, but I have upgraded it and added a whole bunch of features since then. So I thought it would be a good time to actually maybe show it off a little bit. I think that it is now actually at a state where it is somewhat usable. So without further ado, let's get started. So here it is, uh, the starting screen is not much different to the last time I showed it, but there are indeed a whole bunch of new features. I do have to say that the UI is very much a work in progress. In fact, I am planning to overhaul the UI sooner or later, hopefully sooner. But the most important part that I've been working on is the functionality. And I think it is now at a decent level. So what is this app? Uh, it's called Stat Tracker, as you can see here. And this app is basically for tracking various daily statistics uh, or personal bests or things of that nature. Uh, for example, I like to use it for exercise. So if I do push-ups or pull-ups, squats, stuff like that, I write that down in my app. I also like to track my weight. I have all sorts of different things that I like writing down. I just find it fun and I find it extra fun when you can see your improvement over time and you can see when you set a personal best for something. And I think that for me, it just provides me that much more motivation to do more. So let's get started. Let's uh, add a stat category right here. And let's call this, let's do the simple case that I, that I mentioned, uh, weight. Uh, we can add a note uh, for the category, but I'm gonna leave it blank for this one. And this is the main menu. And here you will see all of your different stat categories. Uh, let's hit the plus and actually add an entry. Now, before we can actually start adding entries, we do need to create a stat type. So there are different stat types that you can create and use for each of those entries. And then once you have them set up, it is much easier to add new entries. So this is the add stat type screen. And you can see there are a few different variants, like the different kinds of stat types you can make. Uh, I'll walk you through this one by one. I know that it can seem maybe a little overwhelming at first, but rest assured, I will cover all of it step by step. So what do we wanna call it? So wait. This is what I want for this one. And it's going to be a number. And uh, let's say that I think lower weight is better. You could set it to higher is better if you're maybe trying to gain weight, maybe trying to gain muscle mass, for example. You could set it to higher is better. I'm gonna set it to lower is better for a more uh, dietary kind of approach, I guess. And then here you can turn on PBs uh, for all time for like, each year. Well, I mean, it's going to be for the most recent year uh, that it will actually show you. And then the, the last month. So let's actually enable all of those. And this stat type will not allow multiple values because you're only going to be one weight uh, on a given day and a unit of measurement. So let's set it to kg. And then a default value, you can set this to something if let's say, I don't know, you want 80 to be your default. And then every day, if it's different, you're going to change that manually. But for this one, I don't think it makes any sense to have a default value. So I'm going to leave that blank and let's add it. So now uh, it's automatically selected it uh, from the list of stat types because it is the only one on the list so far. And let's set the weight. Let, let's do 69. Why not? So you can then set a comment and then you can set a date and it automatically chooses the current date and you can edit that right here. And then you can delete the date if you don't want to have a date at all. I'm just gonna leave it there and uh, let's add the entry. So now because I have selected to track my PBs, it has highlighted the 69 as the best result. And of course, right now this is the only result. But now every new day when we add something, uh, let's say 70 was on the 10th of January and you do that, add entry, and you see now that is not highlighted because that's not the personal best, this is. Then as you could see, because we've already set up the stat types, well, in this case, there's only one, but we've set them up and it now is much easier to add new ones. And then let's say that we beat the personal best. Uh, let's set this to the 11th, add entry. And you see that is now highlighted. And then because I also turned on here, I have selected annual PBs and monthly PBs. So I'm gonna go back. Now let's say I set it to February and 
and I set the weight to 71, for example. Add. Now you can see it has highlighted this in green and you have a little legend here when you are in the process of adding or editing. It has a little legend here, what each color means. So here it is highlighted in green because this is the best result for the month of February and it'll always only count the last month that you have entered. Now let's say that we add something for March and let's say it's, it's even worse, let's say 75. Add that. Now you can see this is highlighted in green. This isn't. And there's nothing highlighted in light blue because this here is still the best result for the year 2023. Now, if we add a new year, so 2024, and let's say the weight is 73 or something. So 2024, you can see it's highlighted in light blue. And there's no green because in January, the month PB and the year PB are always going to be the same. So you're never going to see green in January. But yeah, I hope that is easy enough to understand. And uh, we can we can do even more stuff. So let's actually edit one of these. We can just tap on one to try to edit it. And then uh, we can create a new stat type. And let's say that this one is going to be, I mean, you can do the text one, but I'm not even going to show that one because it's pretty, pretty simple to, to understand. Multiple choice. Uh, let's do, let's do something interesting here. Let's do, um, maybe time of day, like when you when you did the measurement, we can say there was morning, afternoon. So you can see I'm adding my options for the multiple choice stat type. And then I can do evening. And hopefully you're not measuring your weight at night. But yeah, uh, let's accept these. And I'm going to set morning as the default. So whenever uh, we create a new one, a new a new entry, it'll select morning as the default, or you can set it to none so that you have to manually select which one you want. I'm going to set morning to the default and then we can edit it if we want, but yeah, let's accept and let's add. So you can see it automatically added it because we set a default. So time of day, morning, weight, 71 kilograms, and we can edit. And there we go. Now we can see time of day is morning. And now if I add a new one, you can see morning is already selected. But I mean, if I want to change this, I can I can click on it, and then select afternoon instead. And you can see it accepts. And then let's say weight was 70, for example, add. Uh, oh, I, I didn't set the date. But yeah, this is the one that I just added. And uh, by the way, yeah, as you can see, when you put a new entry somewhere in the middle of the list by date, it'll actually go and put it there. Uh, it's not just going to leave it at the top. So yeah, there it is. Uh, 70 kilograms afternoon. I'm just going to add another stat category just to maybe show a little bit more more use of it. Maybe uh, give you a bit more of an example. Uh, let's do one for exercise and we can we can add a note. I'm just, I'm just going to put something there just so you can see you can add a note if you want. So let's open it and let's add a new entry. So let's create a stat type for I like to I like to do push ups and uh, write them down. So I'm going to do one for that. I'm going to do a number. And now here's another cool feature that I can show off. You can actually allow entering multiple values because uh, you could be doing like push ups like multiple sets in a day. And uh, this makes sense uh, to do it this way. So I wanted to show the best values um, and I wanted to show the sum of all values. I don't need the average, but you can also do the average if you want. And then I want to track my all time PBs and year, month. Yeah, let's just do all of it. And higher is better, of course, for push ups. So add and let's say that on the 9th of January, let's say I did 38 or something. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, there we go. You can see we can do multiple values. So let's do multiple sets. Let's say 25, 25, and maybe 20 in the evening, for example, and you can keep going like that. And when you add the stat, I mean, I can click add entry here too, but I just want to show you if you add the stat, it'll show you in your in your temporary list here, uh, it'll show you you have the best and the sum. Those are the ones that I chose to have displayed. But yeah, if you wanted the average, you could also see the average. And uh, let's add. So and you can see it's highlighted my PBs. I can do another day. Let's do the 10th. Let's say I got 40 on a single rep, but then I mean on a single set, but then I was kind of lazy and I did like maybe 20 and then a 10. I didn't do that many in total. So let's add this entry. And then you can see here, this is the new PB 
the 40 is, right? The best is better than the 38 here, but the sum is worse. So this holds the PB for the sum of push-ups, and this holds the PB for the best result. Let's do some more. And now you can see uh, for squats, we have our year PB, uh, that was 20. That's the best result. The average is 20. That's also the best result so far. Setups, we have 15. That's the best one. Uh, whenever it sees a, a tie, it'll just take the earliest one as the best one, which to me makes the most sense. Lastly, let's just do one more, one more entry. All right, I'm gonna do it like that. So those three comment you can actually add a comment if you want uh, maybe maybe say how you felt on that day and we add the entry so here we beat the uh, push-ups best uh, beat the squats uh, best uh, for the for the year and then the sit-ups the best is better uh, but the sum is still best here yeah something like that so I hope that that kind of shows the general idea and uh, maybe some of you are getting ideas of how you could use it. I should also show that uh, there is an import export feature. So if you'd like to export uh, your data, which is probably important if you're using this for a long time, you can hit export here and it will ask you where you want to save it. And you can go into download, for example, and uh, you can create a folder, which is probably required uh, with the new versions of Android because you can only give access to specific directories. It doesn't just let you access all files on the phone, which is actually a good security feature. So let's call this stat tracker. This is gonna be a dedicated folder. Okay. And then we'll use this folder, allow. So now it has access to that folder. And then every time you hit export, you can see it's going to export the file. And then you can hit import. If you want to later import your export, you can select the one you want to import. And there you go, successfully imported. I do have to mention, though, that there could be some breaking changes in the future where you won't actually be able to use your past backup files to import them into the new versions. But I will certainly make ways on uh, transitioning uh, the files to the new format. Uh, or maybe I'll even bake it into the app where it will just read the old format and, uh, you know, kind of convert it on the fly. Either way, your data won't be gone. Uh, there's definitely going to be a way uh, to retrieve it, or maybe you won't even have to do anything, but I should probably mention that. I should say though, that for now, this is Android only. I can eventually build this for iPhone, but with iPhone, I can only really put it on the app store. And it's just not at the stage where I could do that. But for Android, you can actually go to the page for the stat tracker. So yeah, this is uh, the stat tracker uh, GitHub page. Uh, I actually have a link to this on my website. And here I have all of the code for the app. Uh, it's a fully open source app. Oh, by the way, those of you who have uh, GitHub accounts, please do add, uh, add a star. I would appreciate getting this uh, project maybe a little bit more recognition or, or a little bit more credibility rather. And yeah, if you want to get the APK for Android, you can go here into releases. And the newest one right now is 0.5.2. And uh, when you open this up, it has right here, stat tracker version 0.5.2.apk. And then you can transfer this to your Android phone and install it. Uh, it probably will warn you like that it's from an unknown source. You can take that as you will, but I do have all of the code right here. And uh, the more tech savvy viewers, I guess, uh, could look through the code to see that there's nothing shady going on if you wanted to. But yeah, I am, uh, I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. I, I think it's a decent project so far. I mean, the main reason that I wanted to make this was because I wanted to use it myself. I really like writing down statistics from my kind of everyday life. I really like uh, seeing personal bests and that really motivates me to do more exercise because I mean, as a, as a software developer, I should really be doing more exercise. But yeah, that's about everything I wanted to share. I hope uh, some of you guys will find this 
app useful? If you do use it, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Before I go, I'd like to say thanks to my Patreon supporters, William and Minecraft Underground. Thank you guys for supporting me all this time. I do have to say that you guys are really supporting the open source projects that I'm working on. I mean, the main ones are the Stat Tracker app and uh, my website, of course. Thank you guys. And thanks to anyone else who decides to become a patron. And also, I just like to remind that my videos are also available on Odyssey, which is sort of like YouTube, but it's a lot more privacy friendly. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.